here on a Ryanair flight for only 15 pounds from London. I land in the capital city of Dublin that's famous for being the headquarters of most Fortune 500 companies. I will rent a car from the airport and then head straight to meet my friends in Galway city, the festive capital of Ireland. In this video, part one of Ireland, I'll be showing you a wide variety of places that I enjoyed and the roller coaster of emotions that I felt. From the festivities and rush in the Christmas market to observing Irish culture near Ire Square and the haunted vibes I got in the King John's Castle in Limerick to liberating winds I felt at Cliffs of Moher. So let's begin our journey. So I got my car and there's a little bit of a challenge because in Ireland and also in Israel and Northern Ireland, you need to have your own insurance. So anyways, uh, this is the car. I had to pay an extra 240 euros. Now it's getting a little cold too, but the car is nice, so and it's automatic. Anyways, all's well, and uh, I am ready to go. I have fastened my seat belts, and I suggest you all do the same because we're on to a very adventurous journey where we'll be thrilled to see all these amazing places in Ireland. Galway is the capital of festivals and I'm going to the local Christmas market that is only here at this time around the year. I feel lucky. Let me show you all how beautiful it is. We are coming here for the first time at this uh, beautiful Christmas market. You can see this is like the signature of uh, the skyline of Galway city and uh, this is the Christmas market where you have a lot of different stalls they're selling things like wine you know like a hot red wine different types of fudges Good morning guys, I'm checking out of my Airbnb but today's gonna be an exciting day because we'll be wandering around the famous Air Square and Spanish Arch right here in Galway City. So I'm here at Air Square in Ireland, it's in Galway City. We're gonna find a nice place where we could eat something, but I want to eat something nice. I know I also want to eat eventually eight ounce steak burger. Oh, it smells so good over there. I'm totally gonna have that. And uh, usually people start with beer. People don't drink as much in Ireland, I think. And their famous beer is Guinness. And as you can see, this is the place where we came from. And it's called E-I-R-E, -E, but it's called Air. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to find some good food. All right guys, so we are here at this place called Venice and it is an amazing Italian restaurant. I really like their pastas, the kinds of teas they have and we're gonna go ahead and get some drinks too. Uh, we already had a little bit of vodka but we're ready for some beer and some wine and they have some really good like soup of the day and then some salads. I love the food and we enjoyed our meal. It was a little bit less creamy for me, but it's okay. Uh, next time, maybe I'll order something that's more creamy, because I like uh, the creamy one. And uh, yeah, but we still finished everything, so that's good. Hey guys, so we're at a very popular spot here in Galway City, and this is called Spanish Arch. This is the place where all the time in summer, there are people that are um, coming down here, playing loud music, having fun. Look at all these birds. Yeah. That over there, some mountains, some sea, and some houses. And then this is all really close to the air square. And now, we're gonna keep going straight. As you can see that there is a nice uh, dock here. And uh, 
some new, really nice uh, picturesque um, places and if you see right in front of us that's Kashmir and that's the place where we ate yesterday which was really good um, there are some uh, nice wine joints and you know some uh, spice India type places like for Indian food you can see a nice boat over there I mean just overall a lot of fun a lot of activities right here in Galway city and you heard it before anywhere else right here on our channel Alright guys, so we are just driving around here and that's what Ireland is all about. It's got all these beautiful countryside houses and these small roads. There's uh, sun just for a few hours. There's uh, sea. As we arrived at this beautiful beach, the weather was really amazing. It's a really nice shore of Ireland uh, backing into Atlantic and I'm just walking around here and looking at the beautiful scenery. The waves from ocean gave this feeling of being one with the nature and then we saw the sun was going down and I wanted to find some beautiful shells. Alright guys, as you know, we have to be quiet here because the shells have a way of running away so we can't let them run away we gotta be quiet so you know that shells are living right oh my god look at what she's found a very pretty blue shell love it so we collected some unique shells and left this place to go to another popular beach called Silver Strand Beach. And look at the beautiful view. This is the specialty of Ireland that you see these very narrow passages where there's only one car that can go. So imagine that. So just driving through these narrow passages, through these country roads, oh my God. You can see behind me. This is the beach and look at the colors of the sky. So this is a strange strand beach, something like that. I'm here in Ireland and uh, this is a good spot where I'm going to be having a couple of beers and I'm going to be, um, you know, just chilling and relaxing. So I gotta go ahead and uh, get the beer out from the trunk. That's how we ended our day, sipping IPA beer at the beach and watching the sun finally go down. Good morning, guys. So yes, uh, this is the Airbnb that I stayed at. Look at the beautiful house. And that's my car, all of my stuff. Next, we started our drive towards Cliffs of Moher. This is one of the most visited places in all of Ireland. There was a huge hype about this place all around the university friends that I met. Hey guys, so I'm here at the visitor center of the Cliffs of Mohar. And you can see that they have some nice illustrations and paintings. The visitor center at Cliffs of Moher was the first stop. You could use the restroom here and get ready to go up that long climb where it was going to be super windy. Here, when you come, you can find a lot of different things to do, like playing games that tells you your history by putting your last name, different species of birds that you could spot. Overall, very good informational visitor center. All right, guys. So I'm all packed up because it can be really cold up on the cliffs and uh, to get in uh, for my viewers it's uh, 10 bucks per person but if you have your student ID which they didn't even check you only pay nine bucks along the way we saw 
beautiful Irish music playing and some amazing people, tourists from all over the world and also locally in Ireland. And it was so much fun. Right guys, so I am here at the cliffs of Mahor and this is such a beautiful spot. We've made it all the way to the top now and what you would see is that that spot and this spot and then these, all the geological rock formations are really amazing. Still here at the cliffs of Mahor and wanted to show you as we get closer and closer to different types of viewing spots from all different directions. Extremely dangerous view at this point. Guys, I'll show you another view from this side. So now we're not walking the same path, we're walking a little bit of a different path which is not paved. So this is extremely dangerous guys. Don't try this at home if you have any clips at home. <laughs> wow, look, this is the spot. Well, I'm sure there will be many more. You know. We're gonna start to head back to the spot. I can't believe we spent almost all day admiring the beautiful cliffs of Moor. Now we're gonna go ahead and walk back to the parking and call it a day. All right guys, so we're back now to the parking lot. This is what we call an awesome experience and just capitalizing on the entire duration that we had. So, just wanted to report that we're back and safe. All is well. I know this is gonna be live streamed all over the world, millions of views. So that's why we just wanted you guys to know that we're safe. Thank you and bye-bye. Morning guys. I am here at this hostel right next to cliffs of Mohor. So if you guys are visiting here, you can also uh, think about getting a place here. It's uh, pretty economical and also um, it's very, very central. Usually all the hostels are very central. So you can see that. So this is the hostel building. I'm just coming and walking from the parking lot. So when you come down uh, from over there somewhere, then you just take this route and then take a right. There are a lot of other cottages and guest accommodations and and things and the good part about this one is look at this one so this is like a house but it has all this rustic feel so now um, I'll show you first my room it's a very independent room so this is the nice bed and then there's the basic uh, shower facility which did have um, nice uh, warm water and then of course you know there's a basic sink and a mirror so all well and they give you towels and stuff as well so that's good and now i'll show you the kitchen and this is the good thing about hostels like you get your space to store any of your foods that you have you have a microwave here you have even the oven coffee machine a gas um, and then you also have some areas here where people put their food for sharing so overall it was a really nice hostel, very clean. People were nice. Check-in, check-out was very easy. So all is well and highly recommended. All right, guys. So now we're approaching the city of Limerick. We're going to be visiting city of Limerick. That's an ancient city that is the third largest city of Ireland founded in 992 AD and it is settled on the bank of River Shannon. I'm here 
at the King John's Castle and I just finished playing this game where they ask you to make a judgment on some sort of a case and uh, it was a pretty fun game. If you injure somebody then you owe them some sort of compensation in terms of cows. There's a myth about this palace that a female spirit known as the Black Lady is said to haunt the Northeastern Tower. I'm on top of the King John's Castle. You can see this entire structure is that was built in 1210 and uh, you can see here the courtyard and the construction started in 1210 but really what happened was that it was finished in uh, late uh, 13th century so 1290 around that range and let me show you such a beautiful view here of this bridge as well you can see all the way over there that bridge is beautiful and those mountains that are covering the city it's just uh, really mind-boggling Overall, really beautiful place. Uh, you can see that this castle is awesome and uh, I enjoyed watching it and learning a little bit more about Ireland. We checked into a hostel, had a fantastic meal, and then the next day I visited a very unique historic port and fishing town in Cork. Cork is a county in Ireland and the place that I'll be visiting is famous for its colorful neighborhoods and majestic Instagrammable pictures. From the colorful town of Kinsale, I would head towards the capital city of Dublin to spend the weekend over here visiting the Temple Bar before heading back to the States.